This center hive is the one I'm most worried about. As you can see, it has less activity than the two on the side. And this one had been my very high honey producer early to mid season, had very little honey late season. And I am pretty sure they probably have a high mite count. So, as a matter of fact, no, I was going to say I think I see mites on the board, but no, those weren't mites. Um, so anyhow, we're going to treat these for mites, and um, hopefully they'll bounce back pretty quickly. I don't expect to get any more honey from them this year, but I do want to make them strong enough to go into winter. This is what I use to treat for mites. This is called Apigard. It's made out of thymol, which is a... Um, derivative of time so and I used this last year I found it worked pretty well last year I had a little container that's all I needed this year I went ahead and got it in bulk because I have a lot more hives a little tip if you get them in this box they are a pain in the butt they look like they'll be easy to peel off I've never opened one that was easy to peel off. The problem is you've got the foil, and on the inside of the foil, you have an extra plastic coating. I don't know if you can see that right there. That plastic doesn't want to come away from the foil. So it's a big mess. Um, you want to wear gloves. This third case right here, I just got sick of it, and I just cut the top out with some scissors and called it finished. So hopefully that will be a lot easier to use. I really like this product, but... At least for these single packs. Maybe I got an effective box, I don't know, but every single one of them that I got was difficult to open. I've popped the top of this hive and I'm going to put a rim on it and I'm going to put this on the top. I got the my husband to build me these rims. You don't need a rim. Last year I used an empty super. Um, the only problem there is if you have a heavy fall flow and a healthy hive, um, they're going to likely make some burr comb, and that's just going to be more burr comb for you to clean up. So this little rim, um, it's not going to be that much burr comb. And I don't know off the top of my head what the, oh, there's a hive beetle, what the dimensions, well, can I, there it is. we're going to squash it, die, it's dead now, um, what the, dimensions are but they're obviously the same dimensions as the box and you probably use any kind of wood as long as it's sturdy enough for um to put on the top so i'm gonna puff these a little bit of smoke again put this right over the brood nest like that okay and then with this you want to use a solid top you don't want to use the the hardware mesh top if you have a hardware mesh top you just throw a piece of aluminum foil over it or something you want to seal it up so that um when this evaporates, um, it doesn't just go right out the top of the hive. It actually stays in the hive and works like it's supposed to. So we're going to close up, and that's it. Um, oh, in two weeks, we'll pull that old one out, and we'll put one more in, and then um, it'll be done.